Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a Dirac Live calibrator. And in this video, I'm concluding the review for the Melco N100 with the D100. And they are an intelligent digital music library. And what does that mean? And what is the N100? The N100 is a standalone digital music storage device and also a digital music source that connects to your home network and you control it either via an app or via the controls on the front. Melco are a Japanese company and manufacturer and they've been in business since 2014. So they are a relative newcomer to the hi-fi market. They are part of a larger group of companies which includes Buffalo Technologies, Japan's largest manufacturer of computer accessories and component parts. Melco is a company born from high-level manufacturing, but it's a company with audiophile credentials at heart. This is something very interesting because when you lift the lid or lift the hood of a Melco unit and look inside, you could easily expect to see a lot of generic computer parts, maybe a motherboard and a RAM, etc. but you don't. Instead, you see all custom-made parts. Why? Well, if they're custom made, they can be dedicated purely to digital audio as opposed to a computer or general PC where they have to be designed to do about a thousand different things. And I think this is fantastic and I applaud Melco for doing it. Putting the lid back on, the Melco N100 has nice styling. It's a half width sized chassis and it's not overly deep. I like the contrasting brushed aluminium with black accents. The range is now available in all black or in silver and black as you can see here. On the front there is an OLED screen. It's only black and white and it doesn't display album art but it proves to be very useful and I'll talk more about that in a second. On the front there is also four control buttons, a USB socket and the power switch. The M100 is not very heavy weighing in about three kilograms but it does feel very well built and very well manufactured. Looking at the M100 specification in more detail it has two terabytes of an internal storage and the hard drive used for that storage is a mechanical type which is quite interesting but it's one that Melco have designed in-house and it uses their HSS2 anti-vibration technology which they've taken from their flagship N1Z series of products. This design works because you cannot hear the mechanical hard drive and you cannot feel any vibrations when you touch the chassis. And that silence is aided by the fact the M100 is a fanless design. The M100 uses an FPGA based power management system which I think is very interesting. The other specs, it has dual gigabit Ethernet ports. It supports gapless playback, DSD, playback DOP, playback and even Melco Markless DSD. There are some pretty significant specification changes coming for the Melco range and the M100 and that is where the intelligent part of the name comes from. Melco are committed to providing their customers with the best user experience and this is evident with the amount of firmware updates that have already been released for the N100. Soon the company will be rolling out a pretty major firmware update as they are going to be incorporating both Song Kong and Minim server within all Melco units which basically means Melco are absorbing the costs of both of these solutions. But why are they doing this? And what will users of Melco expect to gain from this? Song Kong is an advanced solution designed for the accurate collection of metadata. And it offers a lot of user interaction and customization. Minim Server is a fast, efficient, customizable UPnP media server, which allows very accurate navigation and advanced search functions which is especially useful for users with large music libraries we're talking users with you know maybe thousands of cds between song kong and minim server melco are going to be offering an extremely highly advanced user interface experience and this becomes a pretty major part of the specification of a product like the n100 i had hoped the firmware update that added these two new products would have been out by the time i made this video but sadly it's not out just yet so i cannot go into any more detail 
about the user experience after adding these two products. But I'm mentioning it now in this review because I think it's a pretty major announcement and something that potential buyers of a Melco product should pay attention to and bear in mind. And again, I think it's a great thing that Melco have done and I want to applaud them for it. Taking a step back, Melco have designed their products to be simple and easy to use. And that is exactly what you get here with the M100. It is essentially a plug and play unit. Looking at the rear of the N100, it's even a simple layout. You have your LAN Ethernet network connection. You will see there are no LED indicators on the LAN connections. There is also no Wi-Fi. You'll need to hardwire to the Melco N100. There are two USB 2.0 connections. One of them is used for connecting to a DAC. You can also connect to a DAC via a LAN network connection. Power for the M100 comes in the form of an external brick style or laptop style 12 volt power supply. And the fact that it's 12 volt opens up some very interesting possibilities, which I'll talk about in a second. How do you put your music onto the Melco N100. Now this is something that I really love about the way Melco have designed the products. One method is to buy the additional D100. The D100 is a disk drive or a disk transport. It connects to the M100 via USB. Now that spare USB slot on the rear of the M100 makes a lot of sense. And obviously it's the perfect way to connect to the D100. The D100 in operation is smooth and silent and it oozes build quality. It weighs three and a half kilograms. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Three and a half kilograms of, for an optical drive. And the reason it's so heavy is it has a really heavyweight construction with a two millimeter under chassis. And it uses the same HS S2 technology that Melco have designed into their mechanical hard drives. Again, this is one of the benefits of manufacturing all the components yourself. You can pay extreme attention to detail to them. Power for the D100 also comes via an external 12 volt source and it costs 900 pounds. Some of you might have a shock and horror at the thought of paying 900 pounds for an optical drive compared to what a normal optical drive will cost you. But in reality and in practice, when you interact with the D100, how well built and solid and hard wearing and smooth it is and silent it is, you can see why it costs so much. It's a very nice unit to interact with and it makes the chore of ripping CDs a much more bearable thing to do. And this next bit is the bit that I really like about what Melco have done because they could have chose to lock the Melco system down and force you to buy the D100 to rip your music to the internal storage, but they haven't. You can rip your music via your own PC and transfer it onto the Melco internal storage in several different ways. The easiest way I think is to put the music files on a USB flash drive, plug them into the front USB socket within a few clicks of the control buttons, the music is uploaded onto the internal storage. And this is where the OLED screen and those front controls really pays dividends because it makes the whole process simple, easy and slick. You've not got the cumbersome hassle of going between the unit and then to a tablet via a web browser to control things. Within a quick few presses of the front controls, the files are being uploaded. And this is the same experience when ripping CDs from the D100. Within a few seconds and a few clicks, rips are underway. And I think that is one of the big pluses for adding the D100 to the M100. Especially if you buy a lot of CDs or have a lot of CDs you want to rip onto the M100, buying the D100 will be a worthwhile investment. And then we have to factor in the soon inclusion of song call, so that when your music is ripped, it's ripped with the most accurate and usable metadata possible. Going back to that screen on the front and those controls, you can use them to play your music and do lots of other things. And I think this will be a very welcome inclusion for those who are new to products like this, who are maybe coming across from using CD players. Now I know some of you might be thinking that in 2019, it's criminal to not have a touch type screen control method. But with the controls as they are, it is a lot more like using something like a CD player. And not having a touch screen is far from the end of the world because it's not even really your day-to-day -day method or mechanism for controlling the Melco N100. As we move over to looking at 
control applications. The control application or app is a make or break part of the user experience or any products like this. A terrible app at user experience can break even the very best hardware. The app needs to be as good as the hardware or even better. Melco have been very brave and have developed their own control application in Melco Music HD. Melco Music HD at the time of this review is an iOS app only. Now this would be an issue for me, except the fact that it's not. Melco Music HD has full Tidal and Cobuzz streaming integration, which will be great news for a lot of people. In use, the Melco Music HD app is rock solid. It discovered the M100 on the network every single time, so long as the M100 is connected to a DAC. Visually and navigationally, the Melco Music app is quite simplistic and basic, requiring the user to make quite a few selections before they get down to where the music is. For an audiophile who's just moving into this type of product, I think the Melco Music app is a great starting point. And it's got some really useful options on it, such as recently uploaded or ripped albums. For those of you who are already used to other control applications, don't panic, because the M100 will work with other UPnP music control apps. I used both Bubble DS Next and feed data on Android devices. And again, both were rock solid and they allowed me to navigate music in my preferred fashion, and that is using the album arts. I would like to see Melco do more development work with their Melco Music HD app from a visual and a user experience point of view. But what they have created so far works, it does the job, even if it's far from market leading. Moving on to sound quality, the M100 has exceeded my expectations. You can tell that all the attentions to detail that have been put into the M100 have paid off. I made two song sampler demonstration videos because I was really impressed by how well the N100 scaled up as I improved my review system. I hit the limit of what my room would let me have before I hit the limit of what the N100 would give me. Take from that what you will. The sound from the M100 is clean, solid and big in presentation, with excellent timing and micro detail. It was a tale of two halves for me, with the included brick style SMS power supply, the sound is very relaxed, tight and focused, but a little bit reserved and narrow for my personal taste. Powering the M100 off of a good linear power supply really brought something to the party. A bigger, more expressive and more emotional musical performance. One thing to point out, if you're going to be using a linear power supply with the Melco M100, you need to make sure it's a very good one because if you don't, the Melco will make you aware of this and if you do, it will reward you for it. To me, that is a sign of a quality, low noise digital product. So my final thoughts, I think Melco have created a really nice product in the M100. It looks nice, it's easy to use, it's easy to live with, easy to accommodate, and very easy to listen to. I think it delivers a great solution for those who are moving into these types of products, but it also offers something for those who are more experienced with them, but are seeking something better. As a solution, it delivers in pretty much every area, and that's especially true when you add on a D100 and power it from a really good linear power supply. The M100 RRP at the time of making this review is £1,800, and I think it delivers a hell of a lot for that price tag. Bolt on the D100 and a good linear power supply that pushes the price up to about the three to three and a half thousand pound mark and I still think it delivers a lot at that price point. In fact it was more than holding its own in a system comprising of speakers that cost you know over eight thousand and an amplifier that costs over fifteen thousand. I've really enjoyed my time with the Melco N100. It's been easy hassle-free. I can see a lot of audio files being more than happy with an M100 at the heart of their audio systems. And as a result, it comes very highly recommended from me. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you found it useful, make sure you hit that thumbs up and leave us a like. Don't forget to go and visit our website. There's been lots of development work going on there with more coming soon. Make sure you've subscribed to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this and more videos on hi-fi and home cinema. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Take care.